So we did the first nag cast already, mm -hmm. and that was like how long ago? That was like how many months ago? March. So it'll be February. Is it March? We did it. We did it in March. I guess so, because we launched in May or whatever. Yeah. So obviously it's been like, well, now we're now we're in August since you guys. I don't know if we dated this. We're probably gonna date this when we we're release it, okay. or like. Whatever, but yeah, it's it's August now, so we did it's the been first. a few months. It's yeah, been a few months since we did our first podcast. So I mean, like, what do you think? Because there's definitely been a ton of like changes, and like we feel really differently about yeah. it, and like between then and now, there's a lot that's different. And like, I don't know. I just think like, what do you? How do you feel? Uh, I mean, definitely feel different about it. Um, it's we all thought it was gonna be a lot easier you knew that it was going to be tough i think me and baines and everyone else thought that like you know we just make funny stuff and people just swarm to it and that was it we all like go right off into the sunset with all the all the views and blah blah, blah. that's not at all how it is um, like for example we stopped doing the in a minutes for a little while i mean we might bring them back or like what's happened to seeing double yeah, so in a minute, we actually stopped because, well, at my request, because I thought that seeing double was our bread and butter, and I'm like, why, you know, put hours and hours into something that wasn't garnering much attention, and my, my initial thought process was, like, screw that, let's put those, let's not waste hours on in a minute, and we'll strictly do... Uh, seeing doubles and I mean seeing doubles do get more views, but at the end of the day like and as time went on we realized that like, you know, it might be one of the in a minutes that like is It's like a hit and That we should like go back and try it because we haven't tried it for very long if or just try different stuff too Yeah, yeah for sure, but I mean like but like there's there's people that we've been listening to that say that like if you've only been trying it for like a month or two and then you give up on it it's like did you even really try it at all and uh i wonder who that guy is <laughs> i wonder who's been saying that i don't know but i heard that he likes opening bank accounts so <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so we definitely will be uh we should and will be doing in a minutes in the future because you know we enjoy making them and well, we, like, what about like your feeling about like from way back then to now like how do you feel about Dig Dig the difference you know what I mean like the did like the feeling of how it was back then and like how you feel about it now I don't know has it changed a lot uh I mean it's changed the sense that I thought it was gonna be some company that we can build and just like like it just form like nothing and by company I mean like just like a group of us coming together and building this empire and we just have it all and I was really uh what's the word uh naive i guess to think that it would all come together so quickly and i, I remember you telling me bro that's not how it works it's this is a, like the long game and i'm like nah fuck that <laughs> i'm like it's gonna it's gonna come together because we're all just hilarious and we're all funny and we have we have it all laid out we've laid out all the groundwork and we're gonna get it done and like two three months into it we all realized that we all have like you know well, it doesn't happen overnight. Like, this, yeah, is, like, this well, is like a long game thing. No, for sure. And, It'll be like years and, and years. And I know that you never let me forget how how, how different it's, I was. It's because every day when I like listen to this guy that we don't mention. No, it's Gary. We listen to Gary. <laughs> we should just say it because we mentioned him in the other one too. Oh, Gary the banker? Yeah, Gary, <laughs> Gary the banker. Um, it makes him big. It's because he, he says stuff specifically that triggers the stuff that you used to say. That's why I come at you because it's like you used to, so like, like that stuff where you're like, oh, but like, I know our stuff is really good, no, no, no. And then like, I hear that and I'm like, but that's exactly what I, you know what I mean? Like, which I know like that was old you, but it just seems like, <laughs> but when I hear shit, then he says stuff and I'm like, oh, but that's, it's the same shit as like when people are like, oh, I want to like make so much money that I can retire by 30 kind of shit. Like, not that you said that. But that was kind of the idea is we're going to make Big Nag and then we're going to like whatever, sell it or something and make lots of money and whatever. It's like, that's not, it's kind of like, or like that girl, there's that video where the girl's like, oh, I want to be a millionaire by 25. And he's like, that's just inconceivable. You know what I mean? Like, I just make, unless you hit the lotto, like stuff like that. And it's just all these realizations that we've had along the way. Because we used to think Nag was going to be like a big media, like, like IGN type of thing. 
And I think we've transitioned more into like, we like being funny. Mm -hmm. So we're closer to Funhouse than we are to IGN. Oh, for sure. Um, but that's another thing. Like, so when we started off, we had these grand ideas of the website and stuff. And we thought like, well, we'll have the YouTube side of things and the website side of things. And then we realized there just wasn't enough manpower and like we couldn't run a website like all these big multi-billion dollar companies could. You couldn't, like, even if you were regurgitating the same news and whatever and using their links and blah, 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 you just, we couldn't do it. And so we're like, like I feel like it's, it's more about like honing one thing because you have to get really good at like a couple and, things and, and so, it's hard to like do, like get really good at website making and like you can do it, but it's just like we found that like we're more like like and i feel like i'm i'm, I'm leading this into like self-awareness is where we do like you guys and this is where this is where my answer is coming from mm -hmm. is that you guys like being funny and making people laugh and people smile and stuff is very close to like your who you are mm -hmm. like i know you say that all the time right it's like you like to make people laugh and mm -hmm. make people smile like, making people happy is like your it's like really important to you yeah right and laughing is a big part of that yeah. right Simran likes to be the funny guy same with zach right for me that's never been something that i've really like identified with as myself like when I think of who I am I'm never like oh yeah I'm the funny guy at the party like I've never been that guy okay. and I'm okay with that like I don't I like being funny but it's not something that's super important to me so Nick Nick transitioning into like doing seeing double and all that stuff like I love the idea of it I still love it I'm still going to devote time to it but I know it's not like where my heart is or like where my like what I'm naturally good at and who I naturally am like I'm naturally pretty like introverted like I don't like being the center of attention you know what I mean? Like I like, I like, so like, I don't know, I've made like a couple music videos that I showed you and shit like that. And yeah. I, I was always interested in film. So that's kind of where I'm leading towards, but like Nate Nag is still really important to me and I'm still going to spend a lot of time on it. And I like all that stuff. I just know that being funny is not a natural thing for me. Yeah, for sure. Um, but that's, so what I was going to finish off with saying was that, um, when we were doing the whole website side of it and the YouTube side of it, you kept saying like, let's, focus on what we're good at, what what do you want out of this? Like that was your recurring thing that you like, would mention every single time, like, like Brat, what do you want out of this? And I was like, to be funny. Being funny was more important than being the reviewer IGN. And so then that's when we decided, it's like, all right, then let's do the funny thing. Because that's what everyone, Kurt, um, Zach, me, and Sim like, liked. And you were just like, well, I'll fucking join in and I'll edit. And, and I, love, I love the idea, like, I fell in love with Funhouse too, right? Like, I yeah. love Funhouse. So, like, the you idea, like, I always talk about that. I always be like, oh, yeah, like, we fucking be a bunch of dudes editing and, like, we'd make funnies together and be like, yo, Brad, look at this. This joke is hilarious or whatever, right? Like, I still, that's still something that I want. Um, but, yeah, I just know that's not naturally where my, like, where I am. Like, yeah, yeah. Terms, you know what I mean? But, like, it's still really important to me. But I, I, I love it because when we started off i didn't know a lick about like just even changes i didn't know a lick about video editing it was you and we had to go through that little transition phase around episode four where you're like do some fucking editing and i was like all right man it's time because you were just uh you just felt like you were picking up all the weight you know and well also just feel like it's it's important and then that's a, that's another thing that i've been talking about. i guess i'll transition into this there's like so i have all these notes that i've wrote, written down for this um, it's like first you should we should probably talk about like happiness we'll start with happiness okay. right is like what what actually makes you happy and then I feel like like I know like remember you're saying like right now if I were to ask you like oh are you happy with like your life and all that stuff like you were kind of saying like no because you want to be at a certain place in life but I think it's important to think about because a lot of people when you ask that like what makes you happy or what's going to make you happy where do you see yourself in the future it comes down to like having things, mm -hmm. right? Like the sentence will start with, I want to have whatever, a family, and I want to have like a house, or I have this or whatever, like, or I have done this, and they're like achievements and stuff. Kind of like, like Gary would be like, oh, I want to buy the Jets. It's like having something, right? Mm -hmm. And like, obviously you need to be financially stable to a certain extent. So saying I want to have financial stability is important. Mm -hmm. But I think it's more about like what you're actually physically doing every day of like, like physically doing stuff. Like that's what's happiness, right? Like it's when you're, what every minute that you're spending your time on, like every minute that you're in, you're like, it doesn't have to be like happiness and joy in that way, but like you're down for it, like you're enjoying it or whatever, like you're grinding. It's kind of like when you're training or something, obviously you're not like ecstatically happy when you're like training, like fucking working out chest or something, mm -hmm. but you want it, right? Like that's part of that happiness too. 
Well, it could be anything, right? As long as like every minute that you're in, like you want it, like you're, you're, you know what I mean? You're excited about it or whatever. You have the energy for it. Um, so I think part of the reason why, like, I feel like we've been kind of like, I mean, maybe it's just because you got back from Minnesota, so I'm feeling a little bit, Minnesota. I feel, <laughs> I feel a little bit like, oh, we've been slowing down yeah. a little bit or like we've been kind of off. But again, this is a transition period. So it's kind of like we're figuring things out. Um, oh, we've figured things out for a long, long Yeah, and it's going to take a while to figure things out. It's been, it's like, it's only, it hasn't even been a year. So it hasn't it's, even it's, been six months. Yeah, so it's hard to even say, like, for sure of anything. If you were, because I think your life right now is, like, pretty fucking great for, like, where you're at. Do you know what I mean? Like, what you're, like, in terms of the doing thing, like, and happiness, I think it's actually pretty good. Like, a lot of people... Like on paper, like, I don't know, man, like if you were to like, if you had a job that's like not, that's not killing you, you know what I mean? Like you're not working a shitty job that you hate, your job's pretty chill, like you make it chill, right? And then every couple months you go traveling, mm -hmm. right? If you were to do that for your whole life till you died, that's not a bad life. That's mm -hmm. pretty fucking cool, yeah. right? So if you like doing that, you just have to be real with yourself and be like, that's just what I want. And, and again, that'll change over time, yeah. right? Like things will definitely change, but you just have to be honest with yourself if that's what you want, you know what I mean? Like. Whereas that's why, I remember I had, we had that talk a while ago about like where we're at and kind of like I should stop being hard on you guys because this is something that I, that's important to me and that's why I'm more like frustrated about like I want us to go, go, go or whatever, right? And that's why like I know Zach is closer to that with me than I feel like, like for example, Sim is not because Sim, this is recreational for Sim yeah, more than anything. Yeah, Sim's Like right? compared to the rest of us, yeah. this is very recreational for Sim. Um, but yeah, I don't know, what are, what are your thoughts on, on that, like your happiness and stuff like that? Well, that's the thing, like... Other than the fact that uh, that I don't have th like this is the like this in every other aspect of my life I'm fucking I'm pretty happy like I don't need much I don't fucking I'm not a materialist I don't give a shit like about those kind of things. It's true. I remember, but, remember as soon as I gave you that laptop you're like can I sell it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. No, I was like, so you don't need much. Yeah. Like, like laptop. So for for reference, Kurt. Kurt's mother was kind enough to give us a super extravagant, crazy laptop, and I was like, "Why don't we just sell it and buy one that's half as good and give it a fucking? We don't need this." Like, and props to your mom because she fucking went above and beyond. But um, no, but like in every other aspect, I'm fucking happy. I get to travel like once, almost every once a month or once every two months to different parts of the world, and I want like a big trip every four months, and I get to work with these guys on my dreams. And I fucking just like make people laugh and you know try my best to be a good person, don't even blah, blah, blah. The only thing I don't have is like where we want to be. It's we started off and like, and like you were saying to me at the very beginning, like it's a long game and to me, I'm like, nah, 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 we need it now. And the whole, the whole reason I want to do this was that so we could initially, before I learned how fucking hard it is, was build up this company, sell it, and then make another company for us, but sell it so that like I could get my mother out, like pay off my mother's house. That was, mm -hmm. that was the initial goal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, it's fucking hard. It's, it's crazy hard and, and it's gonna take a lot of work, but like, this is the one thing, like, and this is where I can just relate to you just a little bit. It's that you wanna do things. You're always, you have a million ideas, and your life like is gonna be like achievement based because like the far I'm not saying I'm not saying it's everything. Well, could, continue. Yeah. I'm gonna say that like like when when you when you write your first anime, when you direct your first whatever, when you do like when you finish these things, it's gonna make you feel good. They're definitely like milestones. Yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry, achievements. Like like it's, it's But I think the point that we have to get to, which is like even for me, like it's difficult to get there. So like thinking about it conceptually, is that it's not and this is again, this is some Gary Vee shit. Ideas are shit, execution is everything. That, that's, that's the, that's the, but it's still like the getting there, like whatever there is. And that's very close to like I was saying of like the having stuff, right? And that's not like, it's kind of like once Gary like does buy the jets, once we do get to the level that we want, it's like, that doesn't, that kind of like defeats the purpose of it. it's like, oh, once we get there and then we feel good about it. And then like, that's almost it. I'm not saying we would stop or anything, but just, that feeling it's not so much about the it's kind of like it's not even about the achievements really like it's not even about like i get to write my first anime or i get to do any of these things it's actually not even about that it's about 
what you're actually doing. Like the fact that I even get to work on seeing double, or even think about like writing an anime or whatever, like the process, right? That's that should be like the privilege. Like that should be like what you want, right? It's like loving the process of actually getting to work on it over the like we made this video that's so great that got awards or got views or whatever or like we have enough notoriety, we have enough followers to get to E3 or something like that. Like, those are milestones and they're 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 cool. Like they're awesome or whatever, but they shouldn't be what's the most important thing, which is like the most important thing should be the fact that we even get to work on what we love doing. Well, so that's the thing. So the most important thing for me is not getting an E3 press badge. I will laminate it when we get it. But for me, it's to wake up every day and work with you guys. Remember like how we kept talking about this? For me, it's the, my goal is not for a company. Like I don't give a shit about the company. Mm -hmm. My goal is to wake up every day and love what I do and get to work with people. Sometimes I don't work hard, is it? I think, I mean, maybe it's because we're not always around you. Like, I think, I'm sure that would change your, like, if we were always together working on stuff, and that's what you, like, you've said that before. That's why, like, when Steven comes and works with you at night, if we were always around you, I feel hard. like you would be more motivated because you're a very, like, like, people person, yeah, person. Yeah. like, like, the energy of people around you give you they energy, can, and then yeah. the less people around you, the less energy you have, yeah. type thing, right? I get visible when I'm around people. Um, but the other thing I was going to transition to after that was kind of like, I guess I can just transition to it now is, is that mentality thing is that if you want, cause this is like, that's the thing is like, this is a very like lonely thing. Like despite there being all of us working on this together, it's still a very lonely like journey when like you have to motivate yourself to do the work still. Like no one can motivate you to do it. Like you can get inspired by other people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you still have to like, there's times where you do have to just put in the work yourself, yeah. right? So like a good analogy always with this stuff is like sports, right? It's not about like doing the, like taking the thousand shots or whatever. It's like, it's the winning, it's like, it's kind of like when I was saying to you like, oh, I want you to show more initiative and stuff like that. It's kind of like that over the like, oh, I set up or I did this or that. It's not so much of that. It's like not the like, oh, you did the, the sprints and you did the thousand shots, whatever. It's like that hunger that's like, I don't care what it takes. Like you can shoot a thousand shots and fucking miss or like not care about getting it or getting better and be like, oh, I shot a thousand shots. Like I'm, I'm using an extreme example here, but it's that hunger. So it's like the example I was telling Saudi is like, it's like, let's say it's like the last, whatever, 10 seconds of the game, you're down like a point or two. And then the fucking, the other team's on a breakaway and you're a forward. So no one would blame you it's fucking last couple seconds of the game. You're tired and like you're losing and you can see like, I don't know, like no one would blame you if you didn't run back to stop that guy. Cause you're in your forward and whatever. But it's that hunger, right? Is you're like, fuck that shit, I want to win, mm -hmm. right? So you fucking kick it and you sprint it all the way back just to intercept it, it's that hunger. Like no one can teach that, like I can't force you to have that hunger, right? But that's kind of what you need, like in order, if we want to actually make this work to a point where we were sustain sustainable, yeah. because it's like a lot of this is, I think, I, I don't know if I send you guys that or whatever, where it's like a lot of that is like doing the shit that nobody wants to do. Like when, when you're not getting the views, when you're not, when you don't have people around you, like when, when no one else would do it, like, are you gonna fucking do it? Are you gonna be that guy that fucking like, no, fuck it, I'll do it, right? It's kinda like today, we already filmed, seeing Double, we filmed like yeah. one of these already, and we already watched the thing already, and we're like, would I go back and do another thing? And I'm like, fuck it, I wanna do it. But that, that was worse because I was hyped today. Yeah. But like, it's when you don't feel like doing it and all that stuff, it's like, are you gonna do it, right? Yeah. And I mean, that goes back to like what Sim was saying earlier today of like one is always better than zero kind of thing. It's like just doing one, just even if it's like a small thing, just do something every day, right? And I mean, that's that's where this is getting to. Like if we want this to be recreational and wherever, like that's totally cool too, right? Because I think that's kind of like the amount of time to be honest with you guys is like, that's as much time as we're putting into it. Is it, it is recreational. This is kind of like how much time you would put into like, oh, if I'm like on the soccer team whatever like and you're just kind of casually playing and like you know what I mean like I think and this is again this is my opinion like for example seeing double if this was like really really important to us like really like we're hungry about making this really good is we'd like meet up a lot more like a lot of it and again there's so many different things like we don't have time and like we can't meet up or whatever far apart, yeah. but I mean like there's always excuses there's always fucking excuses right like there's all there's always excuses and on the flip side there's always things you can be doing right like we can we can prepare the game ahead of time right we can try to figure out rules or whatever like try to like prepare stuff like set up earlier or whatever 
try to find like even like practice like even like it like when you and Zach did it by yourself like that was good like even if it didn't turn out as a good episode like the result even if the result itself wasn't like the best thing in the world mm -hmm. it's still a good experience to, that's part of the thousand shots you're taking right that's part of the thousand videos that we're making to get to the point where we're actually good right because nobody like with Gary or whatever like nobody like people go watch to because it's interesting but nobody actually really cares about watching every like episode of his thousand episodes but he needed all of them to get to where he was to be that good. Yeah. Right. So like, like it's like the fact, yeah, like the fact that you and Zach still got together to practice, like that's that's like a good, you know what I mean? Like we don't have to put it out or whatever. But the fact that you guys tried to be funny with just the two of you, mm -hmm. it's like that kind of mentality. Cause it's like no, we're fucking filming. We're, we have to do this because it takes that. You know what I mean? It's like no, I'm gonna get up and go to the gym or whatever. You know what I mean? Every time there's an excuse, every time we don't. It's like cheating. It's like you're having like a hamburger or something, or like eating some fries or whatever. And it's like it's gonna set you back. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. There's no middle. It's lonely to be that guy when no one else wants to do it. You know what I mean? And you're tired or whatever. It's like doing that shit. Like that's what's gonna make you. And this is like part of the process too. Is we're finding that like I can see why doing this stuff is so difficult. Like being on your own and trying to start your own thing. Especially if it was just me by myself, mm -hmm. right? That's even more like difficult, right? Because then it's just like, do I want to do this? And like, I have to put myself out there and it's all on you. And it's, it's just super lonely. Like you have to read your own audience and like, you know what I mean? Like it's, I can see why doing this stuff is very difficult, right? It's easier to just get a job where it's like, it's not really like, it's not on you, right? Like you, you go there and do your work and you're responsible for certain things, but you get to clock out at five or whatever. You get to, you get to go home and like turn it off, right? Like there's, there's romance there too, or like there's whatever, like that's a good life too, if that's what you want, right? Cause then you just have your work and then you, you get to chill and do stuff after, right? This is like, I'm always on, you know me, I text you like random times of the day. Like I'm always thinking about this stuff. I'm glad though that you are the way that you are because if it wasn't, remember how we, like I've always said that you're the catalyst and it's because of your drive that's gotten us to, like, I was in Minnesota and I read the message where Sim was downloading. <laughs> Just when you say, whenever anybody says Minnesota now, I start laughing. Uh, uh, Sorry. Well, I was in Minnesota and Sim bought uh, Adobe, he was downloading it to his computer or whatever. And he's like, yo guys, I think I want to start editing so I can say that on the fish. And I'm like, if it wasn't for you and also Gary the banker um, uh, and all the bank accounts we opened, um, like Sim wouldn't be there and like, you know, uh, Evan, uh, rest his soul, <laughs> I'm just um, Evan also wanted to learn how to be it and, and Saudi, when, when we started filming, hey Saudi, um, when we started filming Minority Reports, he, he started learning how to edit and like, it all it all stemmed from you like 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 <laughs> that's true though from you like getting everyone off their asses and be like yo i can't do this on my own like everyone has like it, no no it was i'm, I'm not I feel like that. it wasn't that it was just like i like giving people the tools to express themselves like when i was like getting you to edit there was i know i know that's what i was saying a little bit but at the same time don't you remember me being like Fuck, I just think it would be so cool if like you made a video, True. like I made a video, and I'd be like, yeah, we love each other, we tell right? each other the shows. It's, it's like, it's just like you can express yourself using like, like the video shit that I know. And it's just like, you know, but, but when, you, when you were, when you were doing these videos alone, like, like they were, they were fucking sick, but like somehow you made it like, I don't know, you got us to believe it, believe in ourselves. Don't believe in the me, believe in the you that believes in me. Shout out Gurren Lagann, one love. Good. But no, it was, it was good, it was good because it, without you, none of us, like, fuck, like, me, you, Saudi, uh, Zach, Sim, fuck, there'll be like a bunch of us. Like all- I'm glad you guys are friends now. <laughs> I'm glad you remember before when I was like, fuck, it'd be sick. When like you- and The first time Zach jumped into my car, you're like, you're gonna meet this guy. He's like you, but he's nothing like you. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys have different types of humor, but you guys are both funny and I'm like, I like funny people. But yeah, so this will be, I don't know, I guess this is the first day of Technic. So I was gonna be like, this is like the second episode, I suppose, kind of, because like this, there's the first episode with Zach and Sim ever being on something like this. Mm -hmm. But this is the first episode, well, Nagcast was sort of like this. But this yeah. is like, this is like the new Big Nag for now. Like, like a lot has changed between then and now. Yeah. But I mean, we're planning to do these a lot more frequently, like every week or like every, like, 
twice a week or as much as we can mm -hmm. just because it's I think it's important to like update this stuff and like kind of like for you guys to watch our journey or for us to watch our journey ourselves and like it would just be a cool like yeah. chronicle whatever like chronicles, chronicles the chronicles yeah. <laughs> the chronicles of bank accounts <laughs> Thought it should be like ideally it's like some person some person will find any one of our videos find that one video funny and like be able to look at that one video and not have to watch anything else to know what this is they just look at it and like, you know what the seven notes is pretty hilarious now i want to watch another seven minutes and then yeah. they watch that and that's different from the one that they just watched but it's still funny